Doug D, is a uh, North Basin High graduate, a Washington State Cougar. I know some Cougs in here, so. Uh, he, uh, you might not tell him, I mean, he actually played offensive line in the NFL too, but slim trim uh, John Fullerton, you're up, buddy. Give it up for John Fullerton. Um, 
I wanted to have the same for, for people in that community. So huge shout out to Coach Beavers um, and helped me really develop a, a strong work ethic in the weight room and just to develop myself physically to, to be able to compete at a high level. Um, my mom, who's no longer with us, she had her struggles mentally, but she always loved me. And um, she made that apparent. You know, she had tough, tough times in her life, but you, you always knew that she loved you, and she showed it. My mother, my stepmom, Masiana, for helping raise me in high school. Um, you know, coming in in high school and, and being the stepmom and loving me as one of her own blood children was just meant the world to me. So thank you, Masiana. And my dad, first off, for force feeding me when I was in middle school and high school. I think he, like Honeycutt as well knew, this guy's not gonna be a, a running back or a receiver or the next Joe Montana, but he knew maybe if he made me eat a bunch of food, maybe I could be a lineman. So, every morning he made breakfast for me and uh, made sure I was always eating, packed me plenty of lunch and snacks throughout the day. Um, but more importantly, he was you know, my best friend growing up, high school, college, uh, big mentor and just gave me so much guidance. Uh, you know, just an open relationship where I could ask him anything, go to him with anything, and there's no judgment. Um, and, and he just really helped me become the man who I am. And just a great leader and uh, showed me what it is to live like Christ and to be a servant. Um, my beautiful wife, Amanda, oldest daughter, Ellie, my son, Jason, my youngest, Isla, just for supporting me and following me these years. Um, meant the world to me. You guys being my number one fan. I felt that, feel that all the time. So thank you guys. And uh, lastly, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You know, he's my rock, he's my strength, my comfort. You know, it gives me a purpose, um, you know, to live for. And in those times where it's really hard and difficult, and, you know, you're waking up early, working out, you're just all kinds of things, fear that goes on. and. Being an athlete, and especially when you go to the next levels, it's just having him as my as my rock and uh, my comfort for all that was, you know, the difference in how I got through it. So, thank you guys. Really honored and blessed.